now I talk about Belgium and mm -hmm. the video about Belgium team is already available on my channel. Now I'll talk with a player from Belgium and that's Bruno van Hover. Bruno, at first, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for asking me. It's, um, it's a real pleasure for me. Thank you. Yeah. And I start with my first question. And my first question is how your preparations going for the Paralympic Games? Well, for the moment, they they are on, on, on schedule. They are going really well. Um, it has been difficult, like especially in, at the start of the pandemic, because um, we couldn't have any training session. Nothing was allowed. Um, also, government was um, looking on into how to organize uh, training sessions for uh, for sports people uh, being professional or at least at the high level in sports. Um, but now everything is well organized. Um, the only the main problem we have in preparation is like um, getting some uh, tournaments being organized and, and participate in tournaments. Um, in the end, I think we'll have two preparation tournaments, which um, isn't bad considering the situation. So looking forward to the second one uh, in Lithuania uh, next month. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the answer. And yeah, you talked about the COVID pandemic. How does it change your preparation for the Paralympic Games? Well, first of all, the games were suspended for one year, so that changed a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it's been a good thing. It has been suspended um, because like... Um, if it would have been the same date, if even possible, preparations wouldn't have been much worse than it, than it is now. So at this time, we don't have any drawbacks of the of the pandemic at the moment. Um, since a while, like we had the opportunity to um, use uh, infrastructure uh, that was specially um, opened only for. Um, uh, people who train for in sports on, on a high level. So in, at the beginning, it, was, it had a huge influence because nothing was possible. But um, I think half of a year, six months, something like that, everything felt into place more or less and, and much more was possible with, with, with the precautions that were necessary. But... In the end, every, everybody had the opportunity to start preparation again, as uh, previously would be would have been possible. Yeah. The next question I have is: What do you expect as Team Belgium at the Paralympic Games 2021? Which position you will have? What do you expect of your opponents? And yeah, please tell us. Um, now the, our expect, like, um, for us getting into the quarterfinals, if we don't reach the quarterfinals, it will be a disappointment. That's for sure. It will be, um, a success, our tournament, if we can get through the, um, sem uh, through the quarterfinals. So if, if we can get into the, the semifinals, um, so we hope that they probably, and we hope that the quarterfinals will be in, will be an important um, game for us. Hopefully, um, I think we'll have to like, uh, and and getting in the in the quarterfinals as as a as a as a on the fourth place um, wouldn't be a, a, a position we'd love to to have because we'll probably get. Um, Brazil as an opponent, so the, 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 the first ranked in the other team or Lithuania. Um, but in the end, you don't choose your opponents, so you have to face them anyway, even nevertheless what team uh, you'll play against. So um, 
will be disappointed if we don't get into the quarterfinals and uh, we'll think of the tournament as a success if we get into the uh, into the into the semifinals. If you get into the semifinals, everything is possible. So um, yeah, that's about it. I think. Uh, Yeah, your opponents in your prelim round are Germany, Ukraine, Turkey, and China. Mm -hmm. Not easy to play. I, I don't think there's a, there's a really easy opponent, um, at least certainly not in our group. Um, and and like Paralympics should be the moment where where all the best countries of the of the world are participating. You yeah. always have, of course, a, a, a division between the regions, so that has been has to be, be respected but in the end there are only 10 teams and they all had to qualify for, for the tournament um, so um, like if I look to the world ranking I'm not sure if it's a, it's a, a good representation always I mean it's not one on one uh, representation of, of what you're going to have in a tournament as a final <laughs> ranking but we're somewhere in between as, as sixth place uh, so, but on the other hand, you have Ukraine that that's um, becoming a, st an, 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 a stronger team. Um, like uh, uh, Turkey is also a solid team. Germany has proven they're really capable. Um, uh, like uh, so, and the the other the biggest question for me is is, is China because I haven't seen them in a while. So uh, we have to play a good tournament um, to get a decent ranked position for the quarterfinals. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you qualified because you were third place at the World Championship 2018. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also in 2017, you won the bronze medal at the European Championship. Mm -hmm. in the last tournament yeah, wasn't the same as the Belgian team. No, 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 it's correct. Like just before the pandemic, we've played some tournaments, um, also the Europeans. Um, we didn't have a lot of confidence just before the pandemic started. Um, so, so we need really to step up our game to to get a good result at the Paralympics. Um, we also had some like uh, in Spain, um, tournament of Spain. I had like an injury at the back, the lower back. Um, also, now the last tournament we've played in Lithuania, um, there were a lot of um, people with injury. Like uh, I. I was sick at the time, um, no COVID or stuff like that, but other things. Um, Clisson is also, was also injured. Uh, Rob um, was also injured at, at, at his foot. So um, it, it's still like, uh, hopefully in, in Lithuania, you'll get to know better how what the quality of the team is at that moment. So because like just before the pandemic, it wasn't really ideal. We had injuries, but we didn't feel confident either. Um, like the first tournament we played, we still had some injuries, not the same injuries, but others. So hopefully the tournament in Lithuania will tell us more about our uh, state of preparation, about our quality of game. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it because it has been a long time I've been into competition. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was because of injuries that the last tournament wasn't as good as, for example, 2018 and 2017. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But not uh, only injuries, but the part of it was injury, yeah. Okay, yeah. The next question, what do you expect as Bruno van Hove? Which goals do you have for the games in Tokyo? Um, because it's probably one of my last... Um, Paralympic Games because I've been into the into global since 2003. Um, I hope to play a, a tournament where I can be proud of, especially as as a as a player. But most of it, like mostly when you when you perform well as a team, um, it, it's I, I I enjoy performing as a team and not only as an individual. So I hope to um, have a good performance at uh, this major tournament it doesn't mean 
that I, I of course I want to have a medal, but it doesn't mean if we don't get a medal, it will be a bad tournament. I just want to have, I just want to feel that we've been beaten on our value and not on, on a bad day of, of, or a bad game. So I hope to play a, a good, a decent tournament and hopefully um, we'll, we'll get um, a reward for it in the sense of like you still dream of, of a medal, but I know if you ask other people, is Belgium a, a, a medal candidate? They'll probably, I, if you ask, tell me the three, three teams that will get a medal, Belgium won't be one of them most of the time. So, um, so personally for me, I hope to play a really good tournament also in preparation of the European Championships uh, uh, at the, the end of the year. So, um, yeah, just the good performance being have, have, having the feeling that all the all the effort you've put into it, um, you've got something out of it, like uh, good performance yeah, together with the team. Which which team is, in your opinion, the top favorite to win the Paralympic title? Uh, it's <laughs> difficult to. Call. I think uh, Brazil, um, then Germany and Lithuania. That's my top three. Yeah. My last question is, maybe you heard that in Tokyo you had, had to play without any spectators because yesterday I read it in the newspaper that in Tokyo they don't allow any spectator. You know, in soccer, for example, at the European Championship, they had 65,000 spectators and mm -hmm. uh, at the semi-final in Wembley. What's your opinion about that? Um, if I'm well informed, like the measures um, to have competition without um, spectators, um, I think it's like the timing they've set is just ends be, uh, after the Olympics. So it's not sure that the Paralympics won't be organized without any uh, spectators. Um, so it will be re-evaluated re after the Olympic Games, if I'm well informed. But the chance is, of course, that there won't be... Uh, if there are spectators, at least it's, it's probably going to be limited. Um, I think from the point of view of the Japanese government and uh, health security in the region, I understand the decision that they've made. Um, if, like, um, I think, like they've they've held the European Championship soccer, and um, in Europe, the vaccination. Um, I, look, I'm first of all, I'm not a, a, a specialist, so I, I give my opinion. Please, if you have other opinions, or check it out. <laughs> um, but uh, he's skeptical about how they've organized the European Championship. That's it. Like the vaccination uh, rate in, in Europe is much higher than in Japan. So the two situations are, are difficult to compare. I'd prefer a tournament where there is um, where the spectators are, are allowed, but you also have the, the point of view of, of health concerns in the country itself. So I'll respect every measures they ask us to take. Um, uh, um, I've also had like the, the just a little bit as a, a joke aside for global it's maybe better for the games there are not too many spectators yeah. but it's just a joke because I love to play with spectators and it's much more uh, enjoyable um, even if you have some uh, extra noises around you that, that could um, disturb you a little bit in, 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 in tracking the ball but uh, um, Nevertheless, I, I hope for the Paralympic Games, they still can change the rules that they've implied now for the Olympic Games. Um, but I'm realistic that probably it's going to be more or less uh, the same. It's, um, it's a disappointment, but it's something you have to accept and, and get through with it. Um, so hopefully other tournaments like in European Championship or, or a World Championship they'll get the opportunity again to organize uh, with um, spectators allowed.
and it depends your motivation on if if they play with spectators or with they or they play without spectators. Well, but, it's it's um, <laughs> not really, but it would be a better feeling if you would know that you could play for uh, a, an audience. But the thing that's most like disappointing, not that it's that disappointing that it doesn't motivate me anymore to do to to, to prepare for the games. But like um, just before the pandemic, we we were preparing with family and a lot of friends to get over to Japan so they could enjoy the games. They could enjoy us watching. Uh, uh, they could enjoy us uh, our games. And that's maybe the most, the biggest disappointment. Disappointment is that uh, family and friends won't be able to to uh, go to the Paralympic Games in in, in Japan um, and see how goalball is played on on a high level. See how how we perform as a Belgium team and me as a player in particular. So, I mean, for my friends, then. Um, so that's maybe the biggest uh, disappointment. It, it, it does remind me of the games like in, in, in London uh, in 2012, where a lot of friends and, and uh, family um, came to watch the games and they were, were all impressed by the sports and the quality of the game and the professionality of how it was organized and, and what the sport is. So it's a bit sad that they won't be able to enjoy this in, in Japan now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's. I I can understand that it's much more nicer if you have spectators and also family and friends. Yeah. That's, so the actually the, the thing the thing that I hope is that I like in the in the last Paralympic Games like I don't know about um, I'm not sure about Rio but at least in in, in Beijing and and London there wasn't any live streaming of of the games so. They have any information if it's being possible or not to live stream the games, or if they will be live streamed um, on a, on a on a channel of the IPC or an, or an, another. But I hope that at least now knowing that spect the spectators are aren't even allowed in the venues, or at least very limited. I hope they'll they'll. Uh, have a policy about uh, broadcasting the images to as much people as possible. So um, I haven't, uh, I, I hope um, they'll get something done so people can watch the games when they are play being played. Yeah. Now I don't have any questions anymore. Is there anything you want to tell in the end? Yeah, first of all, thank you for having having the channel. Uh, I, I haven't seen your channel before, but I'm really going to check it out. I think it's wonderful that uh, like people uh, like you um, who are, I, I suppose, volunteering, doing this just out of passion. It's, it's, it's great and it will help, help um, develop the game. Also, people who are interested in global, they have some, some, they have content to watch and, and, and enjoy like the, the, the community of, of, of our sports. So also the, the live streaming that's being organized with, with commentary and stuff like that, I really love it. So um, I hope um, more people will, will uh, carry on doing this because I think it's, it's really valuable for, for, uh, for global. So thank you. Yeah, thanks. I think that's it and yeah I wish you and the whole team Belgium all the best for the Paralympic Games that you reach at least the quarterfinal and also yeah you you want yeah you said you want to reach the semi-final yeah. and yeah I wish you all the best that you reach your goals thank you thank you very much <laughs> okay yeah. perfect yeah. If um, during the Paralympics you you um, you want to talk to someone of the team or have an interview, don't hesitate to ask. Uh,